السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن ان ڈوئنگ ویل آئی ویلکم یو آل فار انادر کلاس دس ویک وی ول بی کن ٹاکنگ ریگارڈنگ ای لرننگ الیکٹرانک لرننگ ان یوز آف ٹیکنالوجی ان ٹریننگ ان ڈیٹیلس ان لاسٹ ویک وی ہیو ڈسکس ڈفرینٹ میتھڈس آف ٹریننگ ایز وی ہیو سیٹ Uh, it depends on company's budget uh, as it depends on need assessment which type of training do they need why do they need and why and uh, also uh, do they need online training offline training what's the need assessment that's a chapter we have discussed in this chapter uh, we will discuss about uh, use of technology or electronic learning so we all know that uh, what is technology uh, nowadays that lesson that you are uh, watching you are following it is all because of availability of latest technologies uh, so uh, as we all know because of covid 19 many uh, electronic firms uh, different uh, uh, companies or platform have been uh, promoted or have been opened or have been launched because of uh, electronic uh, because of covid-19 in order to use the electronic uh, technology sorry in order to use technology for their educational or whatever purposes like uh, some companies are using zoom nowadays you see the share of zoom have been gone up i think is a uh, how many million or billion dollar company nowadays uh, it's all because of uh, covid-19 before people used to go travel uh, from one country to another country in order to uh, give training in order to uh, attend a conference or, or in order to attend a meeting nowadays they can uh, a company can e- uh, easily connect uh, his uh, or uh, a company easily connect uh, the ceo or general manager or country manager from different part of the world they can come together and discuss what is happening to the company and their goals objectives everything so it's all because of uh, latest technology availability of uh, latest technology that the companies are having so it, it depend most companies are trying to uh, m- most company are trying to use different technology in order to reduce the cost in order to be very effective uh, companies uh, why they use uh, technology for their training it's very easily accessible it's cheaper it's available for long term purposes so you can just uh, have a platform some companies they are having platform online platform and they are giving access or they are getting access for some of their uh, lecture for a uh, staff to get trained uh, so they get username and everything so they can easily go through different training sessions they can easily build their career they can easily develop their career and also increase their skills so they're provided online training sessions from different parts nowadays is very easy because of internet because of improvement in technology it it made it a very very easier uh, to uh, attract Uh, or to attend a training session in any part of the world or a higher trainer from any part of the world uh, to discuss uh, uh, it's uh, as we all know everything has its own advantages and disadvantages uh, face to face training most of the people are very familiar uh, they love to uh, like uh, they say face to face training is very very uh, interactive and it's uh, more important and efficient but some live Uh, electronic training uh, as we all know some uh, students they love uh, reading books hard copies they can't even read soft copy they feel bored they feel tired if they read one two page but when they sit for a hard copy and read a book they don't feel tired but some are very good in uh, reading electronic books so it depends on uh, different aspect in different companies so the first one let's uh, discuss uh, this is a uh, Uh, a restaurant company uh, basically they are having a very uh, big uh, what we call it uh, a lot of branches in united states they are having many franchises in different states of uh, usa they are having international shops in different countries uh, is a company that are selling donuts but they are having uh, they are trying to 
provide uh, electronic training for their uh, staffs, for their employees, for their franchises, in order to learn how to cook uh, donuts, how to sell it, uh, how to freeze it, how to keep it in fridge, and everything. They train their uh, franchises, new franchises, to learn. So, in order to save their names and uh, in order to uh, uh, keep the quality that they are offering for their uh, customers. Uh, so they are having different uh, objectives. Uh, so so they are providing uh, online trainings and different so the for the franchises to learn their company everything. So let's uh, see what uh, it says. That's overall about this company, Donuts Tasty Donuts and Hot Coffee. Uh, the restaurant business is well known for its high failure rate. Now some surveys say that there is a high failure rate in the restaurant business. Most restaurants are failed in United States. Uh, for different purposes but most franchises do not fail due to number of factor including consumer brand recognition support from the franchisor in national advertising franchisors the corporate office that oversees the brand want their franchisee the person who buy the restaurant and runs them so we know what is the franchisor and what is franchisee you have studied this topic in international business to succeed in training play a key role in the, their success so this is what we are think, thinking training play a key role in the, their success of the restaurant so how consider Dunkin's Donuts the world's largest coffee in Beckett goods chain uh, Beckett goods chain serving more than 3 million customer per day so you see it's a very big company Dunkin Donuts sells 52 varieties of donuts and more is a type of sweets in more than a dozen coffee beverage as well as an array of bagels breakfast sandwich and other Beckett goods Dunkin Donuts is America largest, America's largest retailer of coffee, coffee by the cup, serving nearly 1 billion cup of brewed coffee each year. At the end of 2008, there were 8,835 Dunkin Donuts stored worldwide, including 6,395 franchised restaurants in 34 states in the U.S. and 2,440 international shops, shops in 30 countries. So that's overall about this company. So nowadays, if you search is about 2008, if you check uh, latest example regarding training, technology improvement, we all know that every year technology is uh, changing. Every year you see the innovation in technology. Every year you see different uh, uh, innovation in different aspects. So while if it's training, why if it's iPod, why if it's a tablet, why if it's phone, whether it's a uh, uh, computer whether it's a multimedia whether, whether it's a camera everything you see the changes in last 10 years you will definitely see a very big number of changes in technology so if you consider last 10 year go through phones just see the smartphones how much have been changed it has been changed uh, the features they're using the technology they are using now you compare this phone with 10 years before computers cameras uh, applications websites platforms everything you just think about technology you will see the different development in different sectors of technology so that's why it made it easier for some companies to apply certain uh, training uh, from technology perspective so let's see in 2008 global system wide sales were 5.5 uh, 5 billion Dunkin Donuts invest time and money in training because the company believe it is an important investment that supports the brand and helps franchises be successful and profitable so you see that they are thinking about that it's very very important to be profitable and to be successful you need to provide uh, you need to invest time and money in what in training so that's it you see there is a direct link between training success and profit so you see if you are employees as we have discussed on first classes if your employees are well trained well skilled well developed they are having good career they are competitive so definitely your company will be successful from your competitors once your compa company becomes successful it has a direct link on your profit so it definitely it will be a profitable company so that's why companies are investing a lot of money a huge amount of money on training their employees so in order to have a competitive 
employees in order to have a competitive manpower so once you have a very competitive manpower efficient effective manpower it's very easy to achieve the goals and objective of your company so once you have achieved the goals and objective then it means you are successful so once you are successful you are profitable so that's why you see that they are investing a lot of money training at dunkings donut is based on a blended learning approach that involves online classrooms in on-site work with follow-up and reinforcement franchises attend an introductory course that focuses on the business as well as their roles and responsibility in those of their franchises so they are having online training so they are having introduction class introduction course that they focus on their roles and responsibility what are the roles and responsibilities of franchises and what are the roles and responsibility of the franchisors that helps firm build relationship this helps the franchisee learn from and build relationship with important individual and team of the at the corporation franchisee then complete 60 hour of online training on their own time in how donuts are made so you see this as a type equipments maintenance how to maintain the uh, company equipments food safety what are the food safety rules and regulation which are uh, issued by the national health service of that country they are having food safety program that they need to follow up the how in which degree they need to keep the donuts the freezer degree the fridge degree they are com maintenance uh, company they need to be checked on regular basis and shift management so how different shifts can morning shift early shift day shift night shift so it's all they're providing 60 hours online training so a five in one half week instructor late course in certification program runs at the same time as the online training so it's not only online you see that uh, five in one half week so you see almost uh, six week around they're having offline training instructor lit course as well so they are using both technology and traditional method one is new method in a traditional method method as well so the online and the instructor lit course are both designed to stimulate restaurant experience with the goal of facilitating on the job practices which occurs in the restaurant practice session are supported with skills checklist so trainees can monitor their progress in review training material so you see that they are not only providing uh, online training but they are of providing traditional type instructor lit course training as well certification program so they show their new franchises uh, that how you need to make the donuts how you need to uh, maintain how to keep how to look after the different equipments machineries uh, so ovens different machinery that are used in order to make donuts how to maintain them in a good quality in a safe uh, as well in health and safety then they show them the food safety program uh, rules and regulation what they need to do health and safety as well in shift management so you see that this company is providing their franchises with this type of training so why in order to be successful and profitable so it has direct impact on franchisor as well because if the franchisee have a very good business then franchisor will be uh, successful as well so before opening uh, so that's why the company follow different type of training so before opening the restaurant franchisee train their new staff working side by side with regional market trainer or operation manager from Dunkin Donuts the goal is to have all employees working efficiently and effectively when the new restaurant open so it's a very simple point you all know so extensive training also occurs after the restaurant opens market and new network trainer and operation manager visit the store to evaluate them and provide ongoing training support and coaching uh, coaching so based on the store evaluations new training program are developed to pro to improve problem areas Dunkin Donuts measure the success of its training program in several different ways each of the training program measures learning through the franchises ability to perform skills in restaurant operation Dunkin Donuts also ask franchises for feedback on the training program so you see that they are not only uh, focusing on online training they are also trying to have traditional method uh, training as well then once uh, they have got the training 
once they have received the training once they have uh, started the business then after that uh, uh, store evaluation they start evaluating the stores what they are doing inside the stores how is their business what's happening to the business everything uh, so then once they have done the evaluation once they have evaluated the inside the company uh, then they see w what else they need then they do okay in which develop to improve problems area what are the different problems area where they need more training uh, so uh, all everything goes through these two words efficiently and effectively employees working efficiently and effectively you see that when you are visiting certain organizations you see different problems they are facing sometimes their computer is not working sometimes they don't know it would they waste more papers they waste time they can't type the, your name you have to give them everything spelling then they type it or whatever problems they are having sometimes computers are not working so this not effective way you see that their morals are very low they don't know so it's all because of low morale and low training they don't know anything about latest technology they are still using old technologies so that's why you see that their skills are very very uh, limited they are not skillful labor uh, they are having different problems and uh, they are facing different problems as well uh, in training sessions uh, so that's why uh, it's very very important well, as we when we discuss it's very important uh, to provide training uh, so we discussed the importance of training in different classes so you all know nowadays so when you are visiting uh, other countries I'm sure you have visited a lot of countries you see that they are very skillful uh, employees they are really very well trained uh, well managed well mannered the way they speak with you you see the biggest difference between you feel the difference uh, between different you feel the difference uh, so so that's why it's all because of regular training sessions so we have discussed a lot why employees need training the benefits to employees to the company everything so I don't want to go again through all these sessions so that's why these companies are uh, providing training so now let's come to that so that's all that was a real case so uh, you can have a clear idea regarding the chapter so it will help you now to learn the uh, use of latest technology so introduction I have discussed most of the parts so I'm just reading the uh, slide an introduction on the first slide I've talked for five minutes regarding the technology so now let's read uh, as the uh, uh, let's see uh, as uh, we have discussed in the first few minutes companies uh, are investing a lot in latest technologies latest uh, systems platforms online technologies machineries everything in order to provide uh, better uh, service for their uh, company so now you see technology is having a major pack on the delivery of training program Dunkin Donuts is using a combination of traditional and new technology training method a blended learning approach online learning provides trainees with access to training at any time and place so it's very easy the use of technology such as online learning requires collaboration among the areas of training information technology and top management uh, in addition need assessment so we have discussed what is training need assessment design transfer and evaluation so we have discussed training design how methods and evaluation are critical components of effective use of training technology although technology such as now we don't use a lot mp3s companies are using iPods in virtual reality provide exciting capabilities and possibilities it's critical that companies use training technology that support the business and learn learner needs so it's simple so I, I don't think so there is something I need to explain uh, Dunkin Donuts is not alone in its use of new training technologies technology is changing learning and training in corporate sec uh, settings as well as in grade school high school colleges and universities so we all know it's not only about big companies corporates uh, it's changing the face of 
great school high school colleges universities services hospitals so you see the availability of different technologies you see multimedia you see uh, online now you are uh, especially the best good example is availability of online classes in Afghanistan um, some company uh, universities are using different forms of online uh, coaching they're using uh, recorded coaching they're using on time coaching so it's depend on availability so now you see the different technologies so we are still very far away for example if you see if you might see let's say uh, uh, by what we call it biometric attendance uh, if you see something else new technologies coming uh, availability of different training seminars online seminars uh, it's very very helpful I think uh, universities when you are uh, providing offline uh, offline workshops and seminars that needs to be recorded in different parts it needs to be uploaded so other students when they come when they have missed this training when they are a new uh, student so they can easily go to the seminars website part and they can easily access and learn something from that workshop and uh, seminar so it's very very useful so they can use the same workshop in different platforms availability in YouTube so it might be on the website you go there training for example regarding SWOT analysis training about how to write CVs training about interviews training about uh, career development training about student uh, counseling training about family issues training about classroom everything or uh, done in universities you see that every most universities are providing this type of training so if these trainings are available online so next time they don't need to go through all this again so they are having still a very vast majority of resource they can use the same training in different purposes the same training can be used in uh, TVs or others uh, so that's why so as I say we in Qamar Institute nowadays we are very trying to uh, how to we can use our resources more effectively like if we are focusing on video making high quality video we don't just want to limit it to Facebook we are giving it to TVs uh, we export it without our logo so we can give it uh, to some TVs that they are uh, they need to launch it because it's the same video uh, they don't need to go and record again so we have done all our research and everything uh, we have spent our time so we have already recorded a quality video we give them so they can uh, publish it secondly we can give the audio to radio stations third we can give the same series same videos to a person who can transcribe it and make a book from it so you see from one series we are using it on different purposes Facebook page YouTube TV radios book so it's a big we are spending time in one thing and we are using so the same thing so nowadays universities are using technologies uh, several surveys of the company training practices suggest that although face-to-face -face classroom instructor uh, instruction is used by almost all companies uh, new technologies are gaining p in popularity the use of training technologies is expected to increase dramatically in the next decade as technology improves, the cost of technology decreases companies recognize the potential cost saving of training why desktop and personal computers and the need for uh, customized training increases as well so we have as I have s discussed so companies are also want to try to reduce the cost of uh, their business so nowadays most companies why they don't provide for example uh, online training because of uh, internet issue it's very expensive uh, internet is not available for example computer everything is not available high speed in remote areas they are facing problems it is expensive so imagine other countries internet is very very cheap uh, for example let's say Pakistan uh, with 400 you can five uh, you can buy 50 GB package imagine 50 GB package with 400 rupees but in here with 500 Afghanis we can buy just 5 uh, GB or 6 GB internet so imagine the difference so there it's very cheaper uh, even the speed imagine the speed the quality everything is very very important 
so when everything become cheaper computers iPods everything uh, become very cheap that's it companies are using it in order to hire a trainer they can use their one training video for their whole franchises in different part of the world so for example let's say McDonald imagine McDonald launch another uh, product let's say some burger a new burger type of burger is a new product is a new food item and instead of going each and every franchisee and train them how to cook they can make just five minute tutorial video how to cook for example this burger specific how to cook it oil degree timing everything they show in they just give access to all the franchises around the globe and they say if you want to cook this burger please log in and learn the chef needs to go and log in and learn how to cook their burger so for example one time they try next time the set finish so that's the use of uh, technology so instead of traveling cost transportation cost hotel uh, stay food everything they save each and every cost as well so so that's another uh, benefits of so so that's why uh, that's another uh, benefit of uh, training so technology is influence on training and learning uh, chapter 1 and chapter 2 discuss the role that training and development should play in helping companies to execute their business strategy so we have discussed this thing in chapter 1 and 2 and deal with forces influencing the workplace for training to help a company gain a competitive advantage it needs to support business goals and be delivered as needed to geographically dispersed employees who may be working at a home or in another country so we have discussed uh, this training costs such as travel costs should be minimized a few minutes before I've told you maximize benefit gain including learning transfer of training for learning and transfer to occur for the benefit of training to be realized the training pr environment must include learning principles such as practices feedback uh, meaningful material and ability to learn by interacting with others so new technology have made it possible to reduce the cost associated with uh, delivering training to employees to increase the effectiveness of the learning environment and to help training contribute to business goals so with, uh, with new technologies we are very able to use these type of uh, resources it's very easy learning environment attractive it's very easy to achieve uh, business goals new training delivery and instructional method include online learning also called e-learning so we all know electronic learning distance learning simulations we have discussed this in another class virtual reality expert system electronic support system and learning management system so you see LMS learning management system that you are using in your computer it's all because of latest uh, technology so new technologies have influenced the delivery of training training administration and training support so that's why uh, all about uh, technology you can see that uh, LMS uh, learning management system you see different online platforms as I've said zoom uh, free conference call uh, different uh, other availability of the different uh, different resources, the different platforms that they need to provide LMS learning management system you find online degrees online universities online certificates uh, online course everything now people are sitting here before people used to go to other countries and provide uh, training uh, so now uh, they are just here and they follow their uh, lecture uh, so now they are just here and they attend classes and they get degrees in other countries before people used to go uh, for example from India to Europe in for uh, read uh, l complete their master degree but now they are sitting at home and they can complete their master degree online even in in the uh, European countries mostly people are studying PhD everything online so there is no issue of offline and online training in these things so so what they do they uh, study uh, different courses short courses long-term courses online as well 
so that's it's all because of uh, availability of latest technology so if I'm sitting at home doing my PhD from home I have time I just come in I attend uh, enter into my system log into my uh, pl uh, information to my page I go I attend my class note i write my proposal whatever i do my research send it to my or upload it to the system where lecturer supervisors can review it and put a comment yes please change here so I, it's everything done online so it saved my time it saved my transportation time it saved me everything i don't need to go to that country visa passport everything so i'm doing the same thing from my home so how it's possible technology so now let me review what we have discussed so we have discussed uh, e-learning and use of technology and training we have discussed the tasty donuts and hot coffee uh, dunkings uh, dunking uh, uh, case studies so what they are doing how they are managing it so we have discussed the introduction what is there so we have discussed technology influence on training and learning what is their influence why people are learning so next class we will dis discuss technology has made several benefits what are the benefit of uh, technology in training see you inshallah in next class